I bought a JL this year and I took it on the trail. It has the exact same DSC valves that we run on our shocks down here. These are something that only came out, you know, three or four years ago in the racing application. This uh, racing stuff, a lot of people think, oh, it's just, you know, you're out there racing and it's only this one level of stuff that nobody, you know, sees as a consumer. But really, all this technology that's been developed over the last, you know, 15 years of racing King of the Hammers has actually made a big impact in what people are getting into consumer level right now. When we got into the Ultra 4 Series, it became so important to build stuff that was going to be able to handle the, the toughest terrain out there. And so we were out here saying, hey, we need to control this low speed dampening and we still want to have the good valving at the high speed stuff. You know, I partnered with Fox on this thing almost 14 years ago, and they were like, hey, what if we control the flow on the reservoir? And we've been driving technology for this ever since. Guys, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about the rear suspension. It's a pretty traditional floor link with a trailing arm, but it's got a three and a half inch bypass on it. Um, huge adjustable, you know, rebound tubes and, and compression tubes, three of them on the front side. Uh, there's a bump zone up here. Gold valve lets it float in the middle, and you got tons of rebound control. So. That thing does a lot of the work, but there's actually a DSC valve on the coilover and that controls the low speed oil flow. So the shock control that you have on this thing is just incredible. It's also got some 2.0 bumps in the back, so on the bigger hits and stuff, you've got some bottoming resistance. The front setup's pretty similar. Um, it's got the same DSC valves on the coilovers, massive, you know, three and a half inch bypasses. It doesn't have the bumps because we really, you know, we found we don't really need them on this car. It just doesn't seem to, you know, have any trouble with bottoming resistance in the front. Um, but basically this, the package that we've got on this thing is about the right size so that we're not overheating it through the longest races. Uh, it's got perfect control and all that stuff, all this technology that's built into this thing has started to trickle down into the Jeep stuff and now the Jeeps are riding better than they've ever been and that's kind of cool to see how that's crossed over. Oh, I bought a JL this year. Um, I go out there on the trail with it and it's like incredible because the DSC valves are controlling the low speed flow. The valving and the shock makes it smooth on the freeway. You're like, wow, you found the best of both worlds. You know, all that stuff is making it more enjoyable to go out and use your actual vehicles off-road and have a smoother and better controlled ride and go faster, frankly. I mean, you can get out there and go faster than you could ever go before with all this stuff. So now you can go get that on the JL and it's incredible how smooth it rides. Uh, it almost makes me laugh because, you know, we've had to build more horsepower, change gear ratios, all these things to go fast enough to keep up with everything. And it's it's crazy how the shock package has made it even, you know, the next level. So all that said, to see this racing technology that we're developing here, get down to the vehicles that we're going out and driving and, you know, using as consumers and having fun in is awesome. Plus you can go faster and have more fun in them.